I think he's asking a question that he is uh, studying in 12th standard. I want to know how to become a space scientist uh, and at ISRO. And what should be the pathway to my journey to uh, if I if we ever come to and sit in front of an interview board uh, that is selecting him. So, uh, Mr. Krishnan, I would like to tell you that the path to space science and technology is only through your academic excellence. Whichever domain that you are studying, learning today, you become a top-notch person in that area, putting your best effort. Uh, in ISRO, we take people in various uh, skill sets. We take engineers, scientists, technicians, and every domain that we have. Uh, we have engineering graduates from electronics background, computer science background. We have people from mechanical engineering, civil engineering, electrical engineering, uh, production, chemical engineering. Then we have scientists who graduate in science, uh, in physics, in chemistry, mathematics uh, and uh, computer science of course there are people who come through that route. We also have people who uh, have graduation, postgraduate and doctoral degrees in the domain of space science, atmospheric sciences uh, and other physical sciences including botany uh, with specialization, forestry, in uh, uh, agriculture, people having background in uh, uh, ocean sciences, uh, climate and weather related uh, you know, area domains, uh, geology, uh, water uh, engineering uh, and sustainable engineering uh, domains. I think all these domains that we take people in ISRO. So if you are uh, keen to join ISRO, uh, I must tell you the, the easiest way or the fastest way is to be through an engineering route because the number of uh, uh, employable candidates are more in engineering domains. But other domains, if you are interested to take, I think if you really become a very top-notch person in, uh, say for example, physics with this uh, good academic credentials and with a postgraduate degree, and if you have a post-doctoral degree, it's still better. Otherwise, you can even join some of our labs to take a research uh, activity and then the leading to a PhD also. So there are different domains possible. And for engineering graduates, we conduct a na national test every year. Uh, and this national test uh, you will have to write and then if you get through the test with good grades uh, with sufficient number of backups we will call for interview and I am sure that one day you will come and sit in the interview board and listen to those questions and if you do very well in the interview you will be picked up for the job. So let me tell you the first thing today as a school student the best thing that you can do is to make uh, a very good academic credentials in terms of the grades and also your skill set to write the examination after whichever course that you are doing to going to do after the 12th.